Here we are in Ottawa, Ontario, home of Agrizoma. This is a company started by Steve Fabijansky, who came up with a whole new crop. The crop existed, but nobody had ever paid attention to it. It's called Carinata, belongs to the mustard family, very similar to canola. But the differences are that it can grow in much drier conditions, and there is whole areas of North America, particularly out in our prairies, where this crop does extremely well. Steve has developed a variety called Resonance, and that, res that variety uh, provides high oil to be used in the biodiesel industry and quickly developing other types of oils for other types of uses. So here we have a new crop called Carinata, a new variety, Resonance, developed by Agrizoma, and congratulations to them because, once again, Canadian entrepreneurs going global with their technology. Agrisoma really started to get its legs in around 2007 when I took over as CEO. We really focused on the emerging opportunity in renewable carbon, if you will, or for agriculture to provide a new source of material for industrial applications. And since then, we've really focused on the commercialization of an industrial oil seed called Brasca Carinata, which is a seed that provides a sustainable source of both oil and meal, uh, with the oil being earmarked for industrial markets. Our product's called Resonance Carinata. Uh, the name was chosen because really the crop resonates not only with the farming community, but resonates with the fuel community. And uh, we just like the name. The name has a good feel to it. Uh, it is, what you see here, is the untreated seed. When the farmer buys a seed from us, the seed is treated with crop protection products. But you can see it's a light yellow seed uh, that's basically 45% oil. That seed is grown by the farmers. It is harvested and then it's processed into two products. Those two products are either, well, the two products that come out of the mill are oil and protein meal. This is made into biofuel. This is fed to cattle. This is basically the oil as it comes out of the crush facility. And you can see here, it's just a uh, light yellow-orange color. Uh, it's not uncommon for plant vegetable oil. It's clear, it's stable, it lasts, and it really makes a, a very good fuel. For example, I mean, we, we, the oil is extracted and what's left is a high protein meal. In this case, this is an extruded meal, but you'll also get the meal by some organizations, which is a ground meal. And this will be formulated into conventional animal diets at, at a certain percentage. And so both of these products have value. Both of them are very important to us and our research and development program continues to evolve the quality and the quantity of the oil, as well as the quality of the meal to ensure that the best quality products are available in the market. Brasca Carinata is a unique crop. Uh, my background has been in the canola industry for a number of years, and I was aware of Brasca Carinata. One of the big reasons that Brasca Carinata was of primary interest to us was the Government of Canada's investment in oilseed research, and specifically in the research related to Brasca Carinata. It has a lot of similarities to canola, and we we're able to take the canola experience, which grew from a small crop to one of Canada's major crops in a 20-year period, and apply those same learnings and those same types of technology to Brassica Carinata to allow us to scale it and to build it up as a crop pretty rapidly. Uh, the, the main advantage of Brassica Carinata really lies in its ability to be farmed or produced in areas that are really harsh and would be, would be a difficult climate to produce any other type of oil seed. Nebraska Carinata is a crop that enjoys the heat, it tolerates the drought, and it can grow in fairly tough conditions, whereas crops like soybean and canola really do need better climate, better soil, and certainly uh, don't tolerate the heat as well as Nebraska Carinata does. The other advantage of Carinata is that it is a crop that can be grown with lower inputs than some of the other crops. There's certain advantages at the farm. For example, canola is typically swathed to allow it to mature, where Carinata can be harvested straight cut. So you're looking at time savings and fuel savings in terms of production of Carinata and harvesting of Carinata. Our goal for this company is to really 
continue to expand the production of brassica carinata as an opportunity for the farmer. In order for us to do that, we've got to continue to work with the biofuel industry to demonstrate the qualities of carinata in the specific processes for the production of fuel and the value that that brings to the biofuel manufacturers. So for us, the next five years are really about driving scale, building customer relationships, and demonstrating the quality of fuel that can be produced with this, along with the sustainability of the crop in terms of that fuel being a lower carbon intensity than other types of fuels. Thank mm -hmm. you.